Now listen, I don't know what is going on with me. This has been going on for a while now. It is almost 2 o'clock in the morning. And I am up. I'm up. Like, I'll be sleeping. And I'll wake up out of the blue. Or I'll be sleeping and have to go to the bathroom and can't go back to sleep. I do not get eight hours of sleep. And I don't know why. And then it's been times where I've gotten eight hours of sleep, still tired. <clears throat> got more than eight hours, still tired. I came home the day, got in the bed, and woke up at 10 o'clock. And now I'm up. But normally I can go back to sleep. My sleep is off, and I don't know what's wrong and why it was triggering it. Hopefully, because next month I'm going into, I don't want to say vegan, because I'm going to still have eggs every now and then. But I'm going back to that lifestyle. And, um,. What's crazy is when I tried it before, I got sick. And I did a video about it and what I went through. And I was telling a co-worker about it, and she reminded me of the keto flu. And I was like, man, I didn't even think about that. And I keep telling myself I need to go ahead and get some recipes. Because I also need to go grocery shopping for the stuff that I'm going to do the recipes with. But I forgot about that part. So, um, like I said, I am going to go back to doing it. Because I miss it and hopefully my sleep get on point. But this is ridiculous. I'm up. And I normally try to be to work at 6.30. And I'm going to struggle. And I really, I'm not in the mood for it. I'm just, I'm just not. I hate that I cannot go to sleep. And I'm aggravated right now. I'm just laying here. And then I'll have my TV on at night where I'm listening to like ASMRs or whatever. And I really don't do nothing that's talking. I try to listen to like the rain. <coughs> Because if they're like talking really low, my mind has my ears listening and I can't sleep. So, um, um I normally listen to like rain or whatever. And I think it's been times where I, um, don't have nothing on at all and I'm okay but um I'm, I'm aggravated with this I really really am what's the day yeah Wednesday so today when I do wake back up I have to um uh, my W-2 was not available but everybody else was so I had to send a ticket for them to find my W-2 so I can mail my tax information off. And then at 3.30, I have to take this lady my ID, a social security card, for um a part-time job. So, yeah. That's what I have planned for today. And I'm going to have to go and get me a pair of pants from a thrift store, a black one, for my job. And I got some Dollar Tree running around to do. Like, I have three things to exchange. And I know what I'm going to get on the Dollar Tree. Um, I noticed they don't have the burner covers anymore. Like, no location has the burner covers, but they're online. So, um, I gotta get two basket things, a little cork board, and I start to get a mini calendar. But I can print one of those off and just stick it on my wall. What was that cork board, the two basket things? I'll print the calendar off. It was something else I can't remember. But I have the exchange, so it'll be even thing. But, um, I'm just trying to remember all the stuff I need to get done this week. Next week is payday, so I gotta make sure I remember to put my rent check in the drop box next week. Next week or over the weekend or at least by Monday. I got the rain ASMR on some of them. You can tell they're not real because the sound is just repeating itself and then sometimes um, it's different. Like, I did an ASMR where I sat my phone outside. And it was actually raining. And it was so relaxing. So, yeah. But, I'm going to try to lay here and see if I can go to sleep. And I'm trying to adjust this pillow. Because, you know, I have issues with my neck and um, my disc. That's, I don't know, this is deteriorating. But, I'm trying to get comfortable with certain pillows and stuff. It's just, I don't know. I just go through it every night, and then I have my heat on because it's so cold, but I have a heat in my room. I don't cut the heat on the whole entire house. So, I'm going to lay here and see if I can get me some shut eyes, and I'll talk with you guys later.
got back from doing my paperwork and my part-time job. So we, I gave her my ID, social security card. We did what we need to do in the system. And she signed me for one of the jackets and um, got that. I went to the thrift store looking for black pants. Either it was too small or too big. So I need to go to the Salvation Army. It's raining right now. And I really don't feel like it because people drive crazy. Um, there's a little thrift store down the road I can go to. That may be a cheaper, about the same as the Salvation Army. I'll see. So I might go down there. Um, I'm going to tell you guys something. Did I just do that? Okay. So I did an exchange at... Um, the Dollar Tree. I got a cork board to put over my laptop and to stick stuff on. And I got this. I already had two. I got another one. Let me show you what they look like. So I have one that's already open and I do. Good gracious. Let me kind of prop y'all up here. Okay. Let's try it again. So it looks like this. It's every bit of worth of a dollar twenty-five. So now I have four of them. Let me put this up here. I want to definitely get these. These will be a keeper for my shelves. What drop of this basket? Sorry guys, I got y'all all over the place. Okay. So yeah. So I came on to tell you this. Yeah. So I did my exchange and I got this. Now this company has always had the antibacterial label on it way before COVID. And this is why I will always buy their stuff. I always got the tall bottles from, no, I might get it from Walmart for like 90 something cents. And of course, Dollar Tree had it for a dollar. And like I said, years before COVID hit, they always had it. So that's how I know they're legit about their stuff. So I got this from the Dollar Tree today for, uh, well, the Dollar 25 cent tree today for a dollar 25. You see this? They have always said antibacterial. Now, I see what they say. It kills COVID-19. I don't know about all that, but I got this big old bottle. This is 67.64 ounces from the dollar twenty-five cent tree. Change that sign because there ain't nothing there, a dollar at all. But I had to get it. I already have a lot of cleaning stuff, and I don't know why I keep buying cleaning stuff. I cannot help it. This tag got wet and it's sticky, and I don't think I'm going to take it off. So, yeah. So I trust their things. And yeah. Yeah, listen. I already got this. That smells amazing. 30% more. This is 31.65 fluid ounces. And I got her sister. Also smells amazing. Same thing. Just lemon. Um, and I got those for a dollar from Dollar General, Dollar General section, since Dollar Tree changed to the Dollar 25 Century store, their section has really beefed up. Like, they got some really good stuff. But, yeah, they, um, they've they always had antibacterial on their things. Although, they got that. They got the yellow one and, like, a, a light bluish one. Well, I was watching YouTube. Let me turn it down. So, yeah, I trust their stuff. I did not go to work today. It is wet and raining a lot. And, yeah. We're supposed to have thunderstorms. I don't know. Hope not. I'm not in the mood for it. So it's supposed to get cold and it's supposed to rain. Or the rain's supposed to end today. I don't like riding in the rain because not everybody knows how to drive in the rain. They get really stupid here. It's like NASCAR and every day there's an accident here. If there's an accident here where I am and everybody must be in the house. There's always something going on. Um, so yeah, I took the day off. Because I don't know what the heck is interrupting my sleep. But I need to figure it out. Keep me up some lunch. Sorry, I got my finger out of the phone. Oh, so yeah. So what I also want to tell you guys was, I got gas. So I get paid on the 15th at the end of the month. And I got gas either on the 15th or the 16th. The receipt for Walmart is starting to fade. So... I still got gas. Like I have a half a second of gas, and the day is the 25th. So my card is really good on gas. Um, that's why I'm kind of figuring out if I'm going to sell it or really just keep it and, like, fix little things at a time on it. But I put a lot of money in it for it to be, for me to have it less than a year. It's really good on gas. It gets up and go. 
by the time I get done with it, I'll be done and replace the whole freaking car. So that's in the future about me getting a second vehicle. I've always had one. No, I lied. I, I had two. But this time I want to do it right because I can't depend on nobody. My mechanic is right down the road. And who's to say I'm always going to be living here in this complex? So I need to have a backup. So if I'm able, which I can stay out of the road, to stay out of the road and only get gas on painting, that would be amazing. That would be awesome. It's a B6. Um, and I thought they burned gas faster, but I don't know. And I get the cheaper gas. And when gas was, what, two eighty seven seventy eight, I only had to put in about, it was forty one sixty seven because I gave her $60 because I thought it was going to be like 50 something dollars. But I wasn't sure because my light came on and I need to quit doing that. So, yeah. Another thing, too. Um... I use liquid downy softener. I cannot remember any other time using it. I think for the first time in my life. And I keep trying to remember if I've ever used a downy. And I honestly do not remember. So I got mine from the Dollar Tree. And maybe it's the way I'm washing my clothes or maybe it's because of how I do it. Like when I go to, like when I wash my clothes, what I do is I wash my clothes. You've seen the video. I let the water out, and then I'll um, put more water in it and wash it again. I do two washes. Um, I just started doing that because, um, hold on. The first time, no, hold on. What was I doing? Good gracious, I'm mixing myself up. I wash, let the water out. What's up? I changed the way I did um do my I changed the way that I'm doing my laundry and I just drawing a blank. So what I did Saturday was I washed it for 15 minutes and then I washed it again, which totaled 22 minutes and then okay yeah that's what I was doing. I would wash, let that water out and wash it again, and then let that water out and then I would just let it rinse in cold water, and what I would do is let it do it for like I guess five minutes or so. And then I'll put a little bit of downing softener in it and let it do it. And once it's rinsed out, then I'll go ahead and spin it. And when I tell y'all, my clothes smell like, I have never had it smell so good. I hate dryer sheets. I hate dryer sheets. They have never worked for me. Those um, scent beads, they don't work for me. I've got the cheapest of the cheapest and the most expensive ones. And... Trash. The most expensive one I got was fifteen dollars. I forgot who it is. Who who has the most? One of them, fifteen dollars. I never use them again. I have some already in there. I ground half of it to powder. I'm trying to get rid of it. I'm supposed to start my next um, bucket in June. Um, but I want to do something different. But because I still have some of the old stuff, like the the scent bees or whatever. Um, this will be a little different. But I'm working on something else on the third round. This will be totally different for what I would normally do. But anyway, I said I to say this about the Downy Fresh. So I went on YouTube and online to find out, sounds really good, how to do the DIY fabric softener. Now, I saw this a while back, but I was like, I didn't want to do that. I thought it was another no way. Some people use essential oils, vinegar, and water. Some people use shampoo, vinegar, and water. That's all I've ever seen is that stuff. I'm sure there's some people who use other ingredients, but I saw this one. Let me prop y'all up because I'm holding y'all and I'm getting tired. So I was in Target and I grabbed this. I probably, I should have probably wait to go to 25 cent tree store, but I went ahead and got this long lasting fragrance. So we shall see. Suave Sun Ripe Strawberry Energizing Shampoo. I got the wrong thing. I got shampoo and was supposed to get conditioner. I don't know if they're going to let me take this back. That sucks. So now I have to go to the Dollar Tree. I just grabbed it. Why didn't I look at it? What did I, did I see? I don't know. I just realized this is shampoo. So I was supposed to get conditioner, but I ended up getting shampoo, which I'll keep it for my, my um hair. So I need to go to the Dollar Tree and get um the Dollar 25 Century and get some... um. Conditioner. So they use conditioner, I forgot the measurements, vinegar and hot boiling water. So when I wash clothes this weekend, 
I am going to try it. I think it's two parts water, a part vinegar, two part the conditioner. I have no idea. No idea. No idea at all. So, yeah. I'm busy trying to find a cheap one to smell. I grabbed the wrong one. But it smells amazing. I think I may still get suave if it says long lasting fragrance on it. I will. Dollar 25 Century have <clears throat> conditioner shampoos and they have a whole lot of them. So I would definitely get suave. So I'm going to try the fabric softener thing um, this weekend. And of course, I'm going to let y'all know because, you know, I do the washing ASMR on my compact washer. So. I'm going to wash my first load for 22 minutes and then I'm going to come off of it and I'm going to put y'all on pause and then I'm going to go ahead and rinse it with all this stuff and I'm going to smell it after I spit it out and if it still smells good, I'll let you know. And then um, when I dry it, I'll come back home. It'll probably be a good 25 minutes, no, 20 minutes, 15 minutes to wash, and then five minutes to tell y'all I'd rather not at work. So, yeah, so I'll wash in 15 minutes, pause it, spin it, come back on less than a minute, let you know if I smell it, and then pause it again. And then once I dry, I'll come back on because I want to stay under or at a 20 minute mark Saturday, wash my clothes, and let y'all know how my clothes smell and how it feels after I dry. Because when it's wet and damp, when I'm about to dry, it's one thing. But once I dry in the dryer, and it's hard to measure out, you don't want to over dry, but sometimes I get some stuff that's dry, some stuff that's not. Sometimes nothing's dry. So it's like, I tend to put in a lot of money. And when you dry your clothes, it kind of loses, I guess the scent, I don't know. So I'm a, um, and then they turn the heat down the laundromats. So I'll figure it out, but I'll definitely let you guys um, know. So I'm going to put you on a pause right quick because well, I'm going to come back home. But I'm gonna, I need to run to this thrift store to find some pants and run to the Dollar 25 Cent Tree and get a conditioner while it's fresh in my mind. And I want to get a mini calendar. I'm trying to wonder if I want to get one or just print it off and cut it out. I'll just, yeah, we'll see. All right, I'll be back. Let me go ahead and eat my lunch and finish watching my channel. Are you going to play? All right. I went to the thrift store and found some pants that has some really nice stretch to it. And it is black, but it looks blue. And it is by who? Lee. So laugh often. Dare to be bold. Something free. Sexy looking. Wow. All right. So, Lee. Y'all know who Lee is. Levi, Lee, or whoever. So, Lee. I don't know if you can see it. All right. So, I got it for $4. Size 18. Normally, I check the crotch area, and I did not on this one. So, got a piece of thread hanging out. Nothing major. Pockets are okay. I wish they were a little deeper. Um. So, yeah. This pockets thing always get me because there are pockets back here, but you have to go and you have to cut the thread to get to the pocket. But anyway, yeah. So I'm going to soak that in a bucket of Lysol vinegar and hot water. It disinfected. Then take it out and wash it and then rinse it and then, yeah. So, so that's that. So I did find a VO5 moisturizing conditioner um or dollar dollar general so i'm gonna do this this is the passion fruit smoothie it smells it smells good it has a when you first smell it, it smells like one thing but after it dies off it's, it's like a sweet smell and then it dies off into like a fruity smell passion fruit okay I did see this. I've seen this before and I never got it. But just in case the DIY um, softener, fabric softener don't work, I went ahead and got this. Even though I do have one downy left. Um, this is the Hispanic brand of a fabric softener. You speak Spanish, you know what it is. <laughs> now, um, 
Aroma and freshness every wash. Fabric softener. It's original fresh spring. Ooh, this. Oh, I like the top. I like the top. It's it's a it, it smell it's it's a fabric softener. It gives that fabric softener smell, and then with a hint of the fresh scent. It's it's not a light. It's a little strong, but I like it like that because it'll dilute in the water. Um, they'll dilute it in the water. It won't be because if you get it or it's real light, you're not really gonna smell your clothes. At least I don't. But anyway, I like this for measurement purposes. That's cute little. So when this runs out, I'm definitely gonna keep the top. Um, remember earlier I showed y'all my cleaning stuff. I'll put a picture up. Same company. Lately, I've been having an additional addiction with buying cleaning products. I'm going to stop. I keep saying this, and I said that so many times. I said that earlier, and I brought something from the Dollar 25 Century. Take that store down, please. Um, but I had to get this. This is Clean and Shine Scrub Free Gel Cleaner with bleach for the bathroom. Now, what it says, it says um, removes mold, stains, remove lime scale, deep clean grout lines. I have this thing. Don't ask me why. Is it a gel? It says gel cleaner. It don't look like a gel. That's not gel. Maybe it's a watery consistency type gel. So I'm going to try that in my bathroom. I like using stuff that has like a gel to it. I'm not going to say it's cleaning better, but for some reason, it's like it sticks. And when it's sticking, it's doing its job. That's what I think. But anyway, so I'm going to take that and squirt it on my bathroom wall. I'll probably start from the top and like squares it all the way around and keep doing it until it drenched the whole wall. And then I'll go in there with a brush and clean it. And let's we'll see how well it works. Um, I'm going to, I need to remind myself to keep the bottle because I like the squirt thing. And then that's a really tall squirt part. It's not short in the bottle or flush to the bottle. It's really tall. So that way I can squirt my stuff up there. I like to squirt it better because spraying it after a while your hand get tired. That's just me. Do what you want. And I did get this for my electronic wipes um, because I've been using glass cleaners. Get 36. I'm definitely going to use that. Now, was this anything that I needed, needed? No, just the fabric softener thing. I mean, not the fabric softener. The conditioner, like I said, I have the budget on what I spend. And this was not in the budget. That cleaning thing from earlier wasn't in the budget, and this wasn't in the budget. But they were, like, I got with some change. So it's household stuff, so it's, it's useful. Now, I did get one thing that was not useful that I needed, but they had it next to the counter, and it was a dollar. I don't need this. Get over here. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. So, yeah. Um, so now, let me put this pants in the bucket so it can be disinfecting, getting um, wet, I mean, getting sanitized. I'm going to pop me a pill. I have high blood pressure medication pills I need to take. And this one, I have two. I have, I had two. I got one. Okay. Yeah. I have the one and it relaxes me, but if I'm home, it knocks me out and I need to relax because I'm up. I don't feel tired. Y'all I've been up since <sighs> yesterday. I came home after three, Lay down in the bed probably about, I don't know, after about four. Let's just say four. I woke up, it was 10, 11. Normally, I go back to sleep. My sleep is off. It, it's, it's, it's off. Normally, I go back to sleep and don't wake up until 5 o'clock with the alarm clock off. But this time, I went back to sleep, woke up at 1, and went to sleep this morning, and then I got up. I didn't feel good. Like, I can sleep less than 8, at 8, more than 8, Wake up in the middle of the morning or night, go back to sleep, struggle to get up at five. Like it's just, and this started happening. Hmm, I don't know how many months ago. So yeah, I'm not getting the proper sleep at all. So let me do this and I'll be back on in just a few. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> this skills feels like chemicals. I don't know. Something is irritating my skin. That baby chin is going down. I hope it turns into a hair so I can pop it. I don't know if it's because I'm older. 
of my taste buds are more sensitive or they're changing the food. No, they're changing the food. Because Skittles never tasted like chemicals before. It tastes like fruits. It was nice and sweet. Oh, yeah. It is raining. Like. Raining and it's windy. I don't know if you guys can see. I feel like I'm on a military base. So I'm about to turn my TV on. I'm in the mood. I don't know where this came from. I'm in the mood to declutter. And if I declutter anything, it would be <coughs> some shoes. <coughs> That's it. Nothing else, actually. I want everything else. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm about to... I want to take my medicine. I was going to say I was going to lay down and, you know, chill. But I did not take my medicine. So let me take that. There's a basket. No, I don't know. I have this stuff already in the house. But anyway, I'm about to start family. I'm about to take my pill. I took none of my vitamins. Got a bunch of vitamins and I need to go through them. Getting rid of them. Before it is absolutely too late. <coughs> Come on, thing. Uh, I'm trying to find something that. I'm looking at the bottom of this cabinet. That may not even exist. For some reason, I thought I had it. I wonder if she did a video about the vitamins yet. This is a lady who talks about real good vitamins. She's a multi-millionaire. And one of them vitamins is like 167. Only lasts for a month and then expires. I'm like, ooh, shit, you got a trial pack for something cheaper. Oh, that's done. I like this little thing. Let me go again, trying to keep containers. This is the crap that I do. Every time, move back. Need my space. I get containers. I always try to figure out what I can do with them. And I tend to have little things that I can put in here. I can keep them in one spot. But this was the last of my organic women multivitamins. This is vitamin D. And then that was my bio gummies. Other bottle. And that's what I got left. I still got some more of my collagen peptide. Oh. I gotta keep working on it. I still got some more of this. And calcium, zinc, omega 3s. It said I need to take something else with calcium. Because it helps your body absorb them better. I wish I could take everything in liquid form and it'd be legit. Cause not every vitamins are created equal. All right, my door's locked. Yes. Bible studies tonight. I really wanna, I need to go. I'm gonna get really lazy with a lot of stuff. That's not good. But I'm about to start rambling, I feel it. So I'm about to go and, um, i supposed to check these doggone balances, but whatever. Um, lay down and chill. Find me a movie. And that's about it. If anything else happens or... Excuse me. That's so rude. Anything comes to life, I want to share y'all. Share it with y'all. I definitely will. 
Um, my W-2s was not available yesterday. Everybody else's was. So hopefully they'll get it fixed by the time I go to work tomorrow. And I can put this, my tax information in the mail by September, by September, by Saturday. Now what else? This week, nothing. Let's wait to hear back from this lady. Hopefully, I won't hear back from her until Monday because I really like want my weekend off. This is probably the last one. Look at this. You see? I don't know what's happening. But anyway, let me go. Find something. And you guys have a great rest of your day. I think I'm going to go to Freebie to get to watch some good free movies. I don't know if you guys can see that. Excuse the little setup. That's temporary. Okay, guys. Oh, for you, passenger. The code. The code looks good. An hour, 43 minutes. Suspense and action. Later. In this video, um, because I'm already at 30 minutes. And some change for whatever reason. These. Bring them closer so y'all can see. See those? Don't waste your time. Don't even try it. I got one more to use. Man, please. That thing ain't freshen up a doggone thing. And how I know it didn't fresh up a doggone thing because ain't nothing fresh. So, yeah. Don't waste your time. I saw these and tried them out. They're like concentrated bleach tabs that you drop in your toilet. No, it's a whiter laundry and cleanse hard surfaces. So I had it for my toilet. Um, I got this for a dollar out of, um, I thought it was for the toilet, but I still drop in the toilet tank. And, um, I'm trying to wonder if it worked, because I really forgot about them. Sometimes I forget about them, but, um, to be honest with you, oh yeah, you do put it in the toilet. I know I got it from someplace. I think it worked a little bit, but not a whole lot. I keep having this phone in my nose, and y'all didn't come to look up my nose. So yeah, so dollar... The dollar spot or the dollar area and dollar general, please go visit. I put some of this on my wall, and it's a water watered down gel. So, um, let me see something right quick. So, the only issue is <laughs> the wall in my the in my shower isn't dirty. Like I don't have like you know, like dirt in the grout and water spots and for whatever, right? No, I think I do have water spots. I can't tell. But it's never dirty. So I'll just use it to clean the tub. Well, I'll still clean the wall because I'm sure it's something there. So I'll clean the wall and clean the tubs and the tub and the sink and stuff. And I'll let you know how well it works. But just for the air where I had it on, like, I guess, I don't know. It smells really good. Let me end this video. You guys have a great rest of your day. And I will be back on Saturday, if anything else. Saturday? Nothing exciting is going on. I'll be back on before. If something is exciting going on, I want to share. I'll be back before Saturday. But until then, it will be Saturday. So thanks for watching and have a wonderful um, evening. And hopefully tonight I can sleep like a normal person. I'm going to try to be sleeping by 9. And I'm about to go find sedatives. So I will talk with you guys later. It is 7.01. All right, bye.